At first, tagging of the long head of the biceps tendon using a fiber wire and scorpion needle. This is followed by tenotomy of the long head of the biceps tendon using coblation. Next, through the anterolateral working portal coblation followed by shaver are inserted in the subacromial space for subacromial bursectomy. Debridement of the superior aspect of the torn supraspinatus tendon, under direct vision. After subacromial bursectomy and better visualization of the greater tuberosity, the humeral head is debribed using a coblation and the torn supraspinatus tendon is further prepared using a cutter by Arthrex. A burr is then inserted to further debride the humeral head, for the suture anchor insertion site. This is followed by further acromioplasty and distal clavicle excision through the anterolateral portal using a burr and a pow rasp by Arthrex, respectively. Next, the first suture anchor is placed, followed by three others, over the debrived greater tuberosity, over which the supraspinatus tendon is tightly secured in a double row technique along with biceps tenodesis. Since only one working portal is into play, the anterior suture anchors are placed with the shoulder in slight external rotation, while the posteriorly placed suture anchors are inserted with the shoulder in slight internal rotation, for better visualization. 